Hi everyone, thanks for keeping it here on Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. Art is with us. We are mm -hmm. in the culmination, almost, yep. of our kind of summer-inspired grill recipes. And summer's yep. not officially over yet. We gotta wait till later in September. So I know everybody thinks like as soon as school starts back, especially like Labor Day, yeah. everything's fall, but we have some time still. We have some time. We definitely do. Absolutely. I actually thought we were going to be making breakfast today somehow because I thought this was potatoes. It's like, oh, we're making like a breakfast hash? He's like, no, nachos. No. no. Yeah, we're doing a, a smoky nachos. So. All right. So walk us through what we need if we want to recreate this. You need like the, the block cheese. They have something that's called a, um, a queso blanco, which mm. is just like a white melty cheese. Um, the... A uh, couple cans of the tomatoes that have diced, diced green tomatoes chilies with green in it. chilies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then this is just a spicy um, breakfast sausage that I just use. Um, I like using chorizo as well, but chorizo. Y'all see how he said that? Yeah, I, I say I chorizo. Say. Yeah, and what did you say? Chorizo. <laughs> so, but when you do it on a smoker, the chorizo can actually get really greasy with the cheese and everything yeah. else so it's better like in a crock pot more so than a smoker from my opinion but gotcha. try it you know it's whatever everyone has their own their own take on stuff so yeah i had to pick on you because you know like richard at springhouse gardens picks on me every time i say rhododendron mm -hmm. no i don't even know what i say because yeah. he's like, told me so much rhododendron yeah oh my god you can take the girl out of London, but you can't take the London out of the girl. Same thing with me. You can take Love the boy out of town. Texas. There you go. There you go. Nothing wrong with a little bit of that sneaking through occasionally. Yep. Yes, it is. All right. So you've already. I've done all the prep. Okay. Normally, like, if you're if you're going to just do it yourself, what I do is once you, this is like you're, you're browning your meat and everything else, just start cubing your stuff up and getting all prepped. It's really, really simple. I mean, it's just you cube up the whole block of the cheese. You um, just get two cans, a cup of milk and eight ounces of shredded cheese. And then you just literally just put it together and throw it on the smoker yeah, until and, it's all melted. And if you had like one of the Blackstone type yes. places, you could actually do this on there. And let's just for one second say right now, everything is going on sale. Yes. yes. I've been having my eye on a couple because I just have a, a, a small ga you know, mm -hmm. gas grill. So I've been with everything that Art has set up here, I've been kind of making some mental yeah. notes. And with the recipes, like yes. I don't have a smoker, I don't have a Blackstone. so. Everything seems to be going on sale right now. So yes. this is a great time too that, you know, if you don't mm -hmm. have the ultimate outdoor grilling setup, like eh, you might I be like able to take it. advantage mm -hmm. of some of those. Yeah, definitely. All right, keep it here. We'll be back and uh, we'll get this uh, cooking. Yep. Thanks for keeping it here. Art. Yep. Let's get started. We've you told ready? everybody the ingredients and everything. Let's, yeah. Let's do it. All right. Go ahead and put Get the meat put inside there. And you don't spray that or anything because there's enough like yes. fat content with the meat. You're not having And I do, I do try to pat some of it out. Like what I do is whenever I'm browning it, I tilt the, the pan up a little bit and I just literally just put a paper towel and soak up the grease and just throw the paper towel away. Um, it, it helps. I mean, sometimes people are more sensitive to grease than other people. So you just try to find like a happy medium. I like it. Yeah. Just saying. Yep. <laughs> well, then you're gonna have fat content with the cheese You're gonna well, have so. all kinds and you got, you got uh, liquid inside these cans and stuff okay. like that. So just put it all in there. Now, if you like it a little spicier. Yes. Normally, I would put a bunch of jalapenos in there. See, do you see how he said that? The Texas boy. So. I say jalapenos. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> out here do. <laughs> we can pick on Art because Art picks on himself. Oh, he yes. He loves it. He relishes it. I do. I smile. I glow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So, oh, okay. Oh, 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 we missed one. Run away. All right. Little cheese. And that, what kind of blend is that? This, I like the Fiesta blend. Oh, I agree. Yeah. We go with nachos or anything. Yep. Like this. Yes, 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 yes. And the cool thing about this one, you don't have to worry about trying to cover it or nothing else. You just, right. you want that smoke to really get inside there and just kind of pour your milk all around there and just. Let it go, set the smoker 275-ish, somewhere in that area, and there you go. That's it. My brain is sitting here thinking, how many different spins on this recipe could I do? Oh, it's countless. I mean, it is absolutely countless with the stuff that, that this could do. I mean, you could add um, the different types of meats. 
Mm -hmm. um, you can do, some people like just a straight block cheese, it's not the white ones. Um, some people like Kobe Jack, some people, you know, a little thing you can always do is if you use um, any of the sharp stuff, if you know someone's lactose intolerant, the sharp is almost naturally lactose free. And then you can use lactose milk and stuff like that. So, I mean, there's, I mean, the variations are, are absolutely endless. Well, I love to take a pre-made pico and doctor it up with a lot of extra cilantro and lime mm -hmm. zest and lime juice and that would be a great way to top it with it because that might be the way I could get my kids to eat it yeah. because they love pico. Yeah. All right, we'll be back here in just a few. All right, thanks for coming here on Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. If you're just joining us, Art with Hover Mechanical is with us once again and mm -hmm. we're trying to uh, finish out the last few weeks of summer with lots of grills, smoker, mm -hmm. blackstone type recipes that we've been doing for yep. the last several weeks. If they are just tuning in, Art, walk us through really quick what is getting ready to go in the smoker. Some type of a ground meat, you can do sausage, chorizo, um, beef, I mean, it's, it's endless. Um, uh, white cheese, of so the, the block melted cheese, uh, you get uh, about eight ounces of the shredded cheese and two cans of the uh, tomatoes that have the diced green chilies in them. And right. just put it together and that's it. Simple. Easy peasy. Yep. This could be one that I definitely get the kids involved with. All yep. right. All Let right. You, uh, do your thing. Yeah. Um, and our, as we are approaching fall, is there anything plumbing wise that we should just really kind of be putting on our radar? Yeah, as, as we're doing a lot more stuff that we're grilling and we're like, crock pot type stuff. Oh. Just want to make sure that all that grease and stuff does not go down the drain. Good point, good point. And of course, as the seasons do change, leaves start to change color and start to fall, always want to make sure that our gutters are kept nice and clean. Yes, yeah, 100%. That's, you know, that, that can lead to so much foundation issues. It can lead, if you're in a crawl space, it can kind of get tell toward me about your, it. a tell little me bit about moldy, it. you know, so there's, there's tons of stuff. Yeah, that, tell me about it. Yeah. I got it. I've got a drain that needs to be really taken away from the house. Yeah. Because even with the extender, the water's just going right back into the crawl space. So. Yeah, I, uh, I've done that at my house. And actually what I do at the end of it, when you extend it, put a pit of gravel. Yep. So that, it dissipates yep. it. I got to do that. Yeah. Home ownership. Yep. Yay. Never ends. <laughs> All right. We'll take a short break. Be back here in just a few and we'll see how things are progressing back there. Mm-hmm. All right, Art, mm -hmm. are you gonna check it? I'm gonna check it. It's getting pretty daggone close. So I'm gonna do some stir and then let it all just kind of melt together, so. Sounds fantastic. All right, now, you know, Art, I'm actually thinking though, so this is on like the smoke, more like getting more of that smoke flavor, but if we just really love this, we can still do this in the oven. Oh, 100%. Like in the middle of the winter. Yeah, 100%. The, um, the smoke just gives the, the cheese just a whole different flavor. So, And some people don't like smoked cheese. So if you don't like smoked cheese, don't try this one. You can do it on a propane grill versus a, a pellet one um, and you have a different flavor profile all together. You know, here's the thing too. Like if you're like me, I will cook on my grill or whatever as absolute long as I can. So, I mean, you could pretty much well do this into the winter too. I mean, because especially with this, mm -hmm. I mean, because you just kind of like set it leave it come yep. back a little bit stir it and then yep wrap it up yeah i definitely i mean i cook i'd say 12 months a year out here like i've actually been out here in an ice storm before so if i got power and i got a way of saying i'm gonna be outside cooking it just tastes better maybe i'm primitive like caveman <laughs> I got cooking over fire type stuff i so. love it all right we'll be back here in just a few stay tuned i think it's about that time to pull it off yep which also means I'm gonna have to wait even longer because there is, I, I know better. I know better than to grab the tortillas and just immediately dive in. Because if I do, then I'm not gonna be able to eat or really taste anything yes. the rest of the day because I've scalded my mouth. Yep, it will definitely let you know it was a mistake. <laughs> so now, how long do you typically kind of let this just rest a little bit before you dig in? Me? Usually I have a chip and I eat it while still on the grill. But I got, as uh, my daughters and some of my guys that I work with will tell me, I've got a scalded tongue, so I just like it. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I know we have tortillas, mm -hmm. well, tortilla chips. Yes. But I'm actually thinking actual tortillas would be really, really it, good with this it, too. It very well could. You can do, um, if you let it sit and kind of chill a little bit, where it's easier, it's more pliable, where mm -hmm. it's not so runny, you can actually put it inside and make a quesadilla out of it even, something that simple. So, I mean, it's there's so much that you can do with the same thing it, it, the, 
there's endless possibilities. And maybe put it over rice. You could, like almost like, uh, especially if you put like some chicken, it could be like, a, instead of putting the, the white melty cheese over your, your rice and your chicken, you know, for a roast foil, you can just put it right there. I have there. no idea what he just mouthed off. Chicken and rice, chicken and rice. So. But what did you actually say? A roast con pollo. So, yeah, rice with chicken, so. Okay. But yeah, you put that, instead of putting the white cheese, you put that over top of it and it will just set it off. All right, so. well, now we wait. Yep. You will have to wait as well. Just keep it here. It's time. It's time. Okay. Go for it. Tell me if you like it. I'm actually going to use a chip to, just in case I make a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, no, it's, it's a little thicker than I expected. It is. That's nice. Yeah, and it actually, if you don't drain the diced tomatoes with the green chilies, it will actually uh, be even thicker. I like to put it in there so it doesn't get so thick when you're trying to eat that it breaks your chip inside of it and everything else. I like it a little bit runnier from the get-go. So, and that you put the cup of milk in there to kind of help it make it more creamy as well. You just keep talking. All right, I'll keep talking, you keep eating. Mm -hmm. But it's, it. what I love about this stuff, it's great for if you're having, you know, people over, you're having, you know, it's getting that time when we have weekends full of sports, you know, mm -hmm. with the kids, with on TV and everything else. This is a great thing. You go there, you put it out there. Everyone has outdoor living areas now. You have the TVs. So everyone, you can have a TV outside while you're getting all this stuff done and just get all kinds of finger foods and everyone's out here with you having a good time and you dig in and eat and you can graze and all the finger foods. Graze. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about leftovers because it, that'll reheat really quick. And yes, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, it, it will go good. And then, like I said, you can you can do so much other stuff with it. Mm. Um, you know, you can go with that. We, we talked earlier about, you know, you can put it with the roast con pollo. And, but what you can do, instead of using the sausage, you can put ground chicken in it, even. And so it will actually be in there the whole time as well. I mean, so there's there's a plethora of things that you can do to to make it just go for countless meals. And I'll tell you what, like, it's kind of unexpected. You get a lot of the flavor profiles of everything mm -hmm. we added kind of, like, hit you at different times. Yes. It's not yeah. just one, Yeah. you know, And that's the key, too. Flavor. Is, you have to stir. Some people that they will do similar stuff like this, and they won't stir it. They just kind of let it all go, and then they just stir it at the end. I like stirring it the whole time so that it's an even balance, so that when every chip that you have tastes the same, no matter what. But you do like you mm -hmm. get an initial taste, and then yeah. all the yeah. ingredients just kind of start to filter their way through on your yeah. on your tongue. So, hundred percent, it's yummy. All right. Yep, that's good. Well, that's good. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, you have not disappointed yet. Except for the pineapple and pizza. We're going to go over there again. Yeah, no. That wasn't for me. Yeah. I just I don't know. I, just, I, don't, I don't get it. I still, I still don't get it. But anyway, yeah. I digress. Where can they find all these recipes if they've missed any of them? They can find them on all our social media platforms we have. All right. And, of course, if you have any questions about plumbing or anything like that, give yep. them a call. And we will see you next time for one final recipe with Art for this year.